Last week's episode gifted us with the incredible unveiling of Rim's demonic form and the discovery behind the curse, along with some new developments of trust between her and Subaru. But a very dramatic cliffhanger left us with the question, is Subaru going to be reset or will he survive? Welcome back guys. Alright, so before we break into today's episode, I just want to say that the suspense going on throughout this series from the very beginning has been non-stop. There are always mysteries to find out and that is something that I love about a particular genre of anime. So when there are constant thrills and mysteries that just keep getting laid on layer upon layer. It makes you want to come back and watch more. You never lose interest and I just wanted to point that out because the writers are doing a fan-fucking-tastic job with this series and I can't wait for the manga to actually have an English translation come out. Okay. So breaking into today's episode, today we found out that Subaru didn't die last week, but yet he's not officially saved either. As Beatrice revealed to us today, he will probably die within half a day due to the complications of the curse, but there is a way for him to be saved, and that is for him to bring down all the evil beasts that cursed him. But I personally believe that if he were to just bring down the leader of the pack, that it would end it and he'd be saved from that point on, but that's just me. One thing I really really liked about this episode is how it went into Ram's reasoning as to why she lost her horn and how even though she's the elder sister of the two, she has less power because of that fact. And last week I mentioned that Rim really didn't look like she was in control when she took her demon form, and as it turns out, that is indeed true, and the only way to have her regain control is to have her take a direct hit. So Subaru, yet again, finds himself in a very, very tricky, very, very dangerous situation. Now the action that took place in today's episode went by really fast for me. It felt like I was only watching maybe 10 minutes worth when in reality it was 24 minutes. That's just how good the episode was. But that cliffhanger couldn't have been placed at a better scene than it was. Even though it pissed me off, which it did, believe me, I don't like cliffhangers as much as the next person. They drive me crazy. But it could not have been done or placed any better than it was. Just straight down, sword clink, straight to credits. Beautiful. But now we are left with the question in mind, will Subaru succeed in the strike on Rim and be completely cured of his curse? Or will we find that he have failed and be reset again? Let me know what your thoughts are on today's episode, and let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments below. I'm Kay of Otaka Diet. See you next episode, guys. Hey guys, what's up? Kay here of Otaka Diet, and I just wanted to ask that if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share with others. Also, check out some of my full series reviews on my channel, and feel free to follow me on Twitter or Tumblr. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next episode.